I've been doing a little research and I've located a 40 acre mining claim I'd like to take a look at. The uh, description of the claim is as follows. It's the west half of the south half of the northwest quarter of section 28, township 20 north, range 5 east of the Mount Diablo Basin Meridian. Now, if you're unfamiliar with it, that description can be a bit confusing. And uh, hopefully by the end of this video, it won't be. Now the public land survey system was a system that was devised in uh, 1785 uh, the government had uh, just finished fighting the war and it was broke, it needed money and so the land that they it had acquired by winning the war, uh, they needed to sell that land to pay off the debt and this system allowed them to describe each parcel of land without having to actually physically survey each parcel. Um, and this system is, is still used today to describe parcels of land. Um, not only does it use to describe land for sale, but uh, we also use it to describe locations uh, for mining claims. And uh, if you want to find an old mining claim, uh, you can use this system to locate the claim on, on your regular topo map if you understand how the system operates. Now in this video, um, I'm going to go over the basics of the system. I'm not going to go into great depth on the system. Basically what I'm going to try to do is give you the basics of how it operates so that uh, by the end of the video you should be able to locate any mining claim uh, on a topo map uh, using this system. Or if you want to file a claim, uh, you should be able to locate it and describe your claim using the PLSS system. The location of an area starts at a principal meridian. There are 37 meridians in the U.S. Each one is named. California has three principal meridians. It has the Humboldt, the Mount Diablo, and the San Bernardino. They were all established in 1851 to 1853. We will be using the Mount Diablo Basin Meridian in this video. Now, your base lines run east and west and the meridians run north and south. From the base line, you have townships running north and south. From the meridian line, you have ranges running east and west. Each six mile square is called a township and it contains 36 square miles. Within a township, you have 36 sections. Each section is one square mile or 640 acres. Now, if you're looking for Section 5, Range 3 East, Township 4 South, all you do is count over 3 to the east and then down 4 to the south. Then in that township, you locate Section 5. The section can be further divided. Sections can be divided into halves or quarters. The quarters can be broken down into halves or quarters, and so on and so on. Now that you have your, the basics down, um, let's see if we can apply this to a map and uh, make a little more sense of it. Now if you remember, beginning of this video, I was looking for an old mining claim. And uh, the description was the west half of the south half 
of the northeast quarter of Section 28, Township 20 North, Range 5 East of the Mount Diablo Basin Meridian. Now to transfer this over and find it on the map, you have to take and go at this backwards. The first thing you want to find is the Mount Diablo Basin Meridian. Now on your USGS topo map or your quad map, your PLSS grid system will be labeled in red. Your ranges will be at the top and the bottom of the, of the map and your townships will be on the east and west or the right and left side of the map. Then the next thing you're looking for is range 5 east and then township 20 north and then in that township you're going to want to find section 28. Once you find section 28 you want to locate the northwest quarter and then within the northwest quarter you want to find the south half. Once you locate the south half, then you want the west half of that, and that will give you the location of the claim. By locating the old claim on the map, I discovered that it was in the uh, Lake Oroville State Recreation Area. That area is closed to all mineral recovery. In 1937, when the claim was filed, there was no lake there and it was open to mining. Well, this one was a dead end, but uh, time to do a little more research and uh, see if I can lo locate another spot to check out this spring. Well, I hope this video has been a help for you. Now, if you're interested in uh, uh, mining, metal detecting, um, pretty much outdoor adventure, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you'll uh, get notification whenever I put out a new video. Until then, you have a wonderful day.